Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel here at Coco Lencho Japan. I'm a foreigner currently working and living in the countryside of Japan. Along with that, there's a lot of work that comes along with uh, living in the countryside and one of them is mowing lots of grass. So today what I'm going to do is finally get around to assembling this lawnmower that I had imported from the States actually. Speaking a little bit about working in Japan, I posted a video about how you can go about finding employment in Japan uh, working for the US government at SOFA status. So many of you are probably wondering how I was able to import this beast from the United States. And quite frankly, I really wanted to import a riding lawnmower. However, I was kind of concerned with the maintenance in, in the future years. So I just kind of decide against that. And one of the benefits uh, of working for the US government or even a big, large defense uh, contracting company is that many times you are entitled uh, a move of your personal belongings overseas, which is my case. So if you're interested in that topic, please go ahead and check it out. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, assemble it. And later on, I'm probably gonna have to run to the gas station and get some gas and get it started. And then do a quick review as uh, I go up and down these hills and, and that I have here in my property and see how it works. While I'm at it, let me go ahead and talk just a little bit about ownership in Japan. Here recently in the media, Probably many of you have heard about IKEA's vacant houses, abandoned houses in Japan. The government of Japan is giving them for free, which don't believe all the hype, uh, and so on. So I get a lot of comments from from folks from across the world, quite frankly, and uh, they are very excited and they want to do what we have done. Me and many other people is uh, basically buy an IKEA and um, and live in it uh, because. Quite frankly, in many countries, uh, the real estate is, is becoming out of reach. And uh, so a lot of people are looking for a way out or something different. However, uh, be very cautious. All the hype that you hear, a lot of it is true. Uh, there are many, many very cheap houses. I've talked about it quite a bit. A you know, quick reference, we paid 35000 for this whole property. Uh, many other people have paid much less. Many people have paid more. Uh, we did an extensive renovation, so if you're interested in that, please go back and check other videos. Our renovation is probably more than what most people would do. One of the things I talked about in one of the videos, I talked about the cost and uh, lessons learned and so on, is that you have to find your why. Why are you doing this? Quite frankly, in my opinion, for us, it was not a um, financial investment. Is more of an investment in quality of life. If you are interested in doing something like this, please be responsible. Don't come to Japan and buy a property and abandon it. All right, folks, so let me go ahead and uh, get to this lot more and hopefully you enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, please do so. Friendly reminder, if you can uh, please give us a thumbs up, share, like. It is um, 28 inches. As you can see, it's a little bit larger than the normal ones. The blade is 28 inches, self-propelled, 223cc. The model is uh, M430 Craftsman. So I hope that this will be a good addition to all the yard work I have to do here in the house. But before I can even get to it, I need to go ahead and unclutter my area here. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Now see, check out the size of that, that blade right there. I chose this one too because it has casters because uh, I don't have a perfectly level uh, you know, yard like uh, you do in the States where nicely manicured is still a little bit rough. So this hopefully will come in handy. Pace control system. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, keep on working on this. Now check out that. Two different blades, quite large. Big old casters that can be adjusted here. The wheels, that's the size of my hand right there. Keep the 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this thing going up and down those hills and everything, but I guess we'll see. This is part of the review here, so if you're considering something like this, yes, I'm in Japan, but this is bought from the United States. Uh, and the terrain over here is uh, not as ideal as it is uh, in the, some of those beautiful lawns in the United States. Uh, I think this will serve as a great review for someone who is considering this uh, particular model okay time to fire up this bad boy i just put some gas in i put some oil in it going to go ahead and crank it up and take it up the hill and uh, see how it does all right let's go ahead and give it a shot it only took me two cranks and the first one i uh, <laughs> I didn't put enough uh, hump into it, so really just one. So that's a good start. So let's go ahead and uh, see how the self-propelled works going up this hill. Okay, that was actually very easy. I tried to show you all that just uh, I just pushing it with my thumb and it, uh, it went up quite fast. As you can see, this hill is a little steep. Well, that was pretty good, quite fast actually. Um, even though in a lot of spots there's no grass, weeds, whatever, but um, I pretty much covered the whole area. So I am about to do something crazy and attempt that side right there. Okay, <laughs> uh, eh. <laughs> well, the tires kept slipping. This is quite, uh, quite wet because it's been raining. So it's just kind of spinning. This is a steep incline. So probably shouldn't get greedy. Plus I ran out of gas, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> Saved me. All right, let me go ahead and uh, fill it up. And then I'm gonna go up to the chestnut okay so next i'm gonna try the upper part right here i'm gonna bring it up the hill see how it does the dirt is still quite loose so i'm not quite sure how it's gonna do but let's see huh, actually not that bad all right so let's go ahead and move this part Okay, all in all, I think it was a great review on this uh, Craftsman uh, lawnmower that I had uh, shipped from the United States. Again, the model is uh, Craftsman M430, and it has two blades on the bottom. I showed this before, let me go and show you again. This thing is heavy. Uh, let's see, hey, hopefully you can see. Down there, two blades. Uh, here, supposedly, you can attach the water hose to wash it but uh, i think it's just better to lift it up and do it uh really easy to start one or two pulls uh you turn it off right here you just have to press it uh probably about five seconds the most i kind of found this handle a little a little hard <laughs> i still kind of have to play with it and i'm right now doing it one-handed but uh 
Yeah, this is, that's the only thing I kind of found, there you go. I found it kind of, kind of difficult to, I don't know if there's some adjustment or something that needs to be done. That's the only thing negative that I can think of. I'm probably just getting used to it. But yeah, I was able to get up the hill like I wanted. Probably put myself in some, uh, eh, not so hairy, but it's just not comfortable situations like here there obviously i can't i can't do that here with the lawnmower so here i'm just gonna have to pull out the old weed whacker but um saves me tons of time and uh, uh these weed whackers and i we have a love-hate relationship either the blades or the cores they all break off of me i don't have a good track record with them the one that i have right now i finally got it to where i could go on for a good you know 30 45 minutes without having to change it and whatnot but next i need to uh kind of clean up my area down there where all my wood is at but that doesn't take long with the weed eater such as right here too uh like all the other remaining pieces i could just knock them out in an evening the next thing i need to do as well is here along this side make some sort of stepping system because i'm still struggling you know as i tried to do it right here those vines they haven't started growing yet but i've been trying to pull them out by the roots little by little but there's still some there this uh has saved me a whole lot of time and trouble and uh back aches so uh less if you happen to be watching thank you for helping me out uh shipping this from the united states much appreciated all right folks again thanks for tuning in thanks for following please hit subscribe share and like this is what helps uh the channel grow and not just mine other youtubers as well so do that for other folks uh we spend a lot of time and quite frankly money and equipment uh to share our experiences so that's our form of payment all right folks have a great day bye